Well, applying for a business license in Lodi is the easiest it has ever been, but the city is still trying to make things right. It turns out some business owners were charged an illegal tax for decades. ABC 10's Gabriel Porras explains how they can get some of their money back. We actually put it through a, a pilot period be before we launched it officially to make sure there weren't any issues. A test with no issues gave city officials in Lodi the green light to launch this website, the Lodi Business License Portal. It's a new program for businesses to apply for their business license certificate. So we were excited. JP Duchette represents more than 600 local business owners as CEO of the Lodi Chamber of Commerce. He believes that $25 is a small price to pay for what could be a big reward. Business licenses are, are critical. I mean, if you need business financing or you're applying for grants. But it's not just JP. 670 businesses have applied already. When officials here at City Hall first announced the new portal on social media earlier this week, comments quickly flooded in. Some business owners saying that the city still owes them money from a multi-million dollar mistake discovered in 2023. So before this came into the picture, we had an ordinance that had been established in 1995 that was actually charging a business license tax. That tax was deemed illegal due to violating California's Proposition 218, but city officials didn't catch the major mistake until last September halting the tax and issuing checks to nearly 4,700 businesses that had paid it in the past year. And that was the statute of limitations and that's what, exactly what we paid out. We are definitely working with any businesses that may have not been paid. We have their checks. Some 600 checks ranging from a dollar to 60,000 that the city says are still uncashed. Businesses in California already face uh, a lot of hurdles. To know that a tax was being collected that shouldn't have was was extremely frustrating. But JP believes that now things have changed for the better. We have new leadership of the city because ultimately uh, a community is only successful if its business community is successful. In Lodi, Gabriel Porras, ABC 10. Oh, keep in mind the city says the refund checks do have expiration dates, but the money set aside for the businesses does not expire. You can call the city budget office at 209-269-4638 for more information.